Yo, what's good my YouTube family? Guys, we got a very special video for you today, all right? The best Larry Bird alpha male rookie story ever told. All right, I don't know. I don't even know what to expect out of this video, but without further ado, let's get straight into it, baby. The bus and said, I want you guys to know I'm never going to get you any water and I'm never going to carry one bag ever. And he never did. Bro, and this is what I've been saying though. Like, I've been seeing these like rookie hazings in the NBA, and it's like, yeah, carry my bag or go get the whole team like Chick fil A or something. No, bro, I'm not doing any of that. I promise you that. Okay, I'm a Midwest kid. All right, we don't do stuff like that. Like, just because you've been on the team longer doesn't mean that you're like in any way, shape, or form better than I am. Okay, so Larry Bird, this just like. Every single video I watch of Larry Bird makes me like him like 10 times more. The respect Later that, that I have for Larry Bird was confronted by it's an crazy. Hall of Famer, Pete Maravich. Larry Bird said something so disrespectful, it sent Pete into retirement. This he made Pete retire? This is the story Bro. of how a rookie Larry Bird established himself as the alpha male and dominated the NBA from day one. I walk in the first day of camp, them guys were on the floor stretching, and here comes the white savior, here comes this, here comes that. I sort of enjoyed it, because I knew I was going to battle them all day. Cedric Maxwell, the Celtics' leading scorer the year before Larry arrived, had a rude awakening. He was skeptical that the self-proclaimed hick from French Lick was all hype, until that first day in training camp, and all it took was one day. I'm thinking, oh, he's slow, he can't get off a shot. He's not that strong. This is gonna be a layup. Bam, knocks down a jump shot. Okay, maybe that was luck. We seen that in the dog. Bam, knocks down another jump shot. Now I'm thinking like, okay, hey, you know what? I'm gonna D this guy up. I'm gonna show him his life. 20 feet away. Bam, 25 feet away, bam. I my mind just gone so good. Damn, this white guy can play. The Celtics were the second worst team in the league before Larry Bird arrived, winning only 29 games. But even as a rookie, Larry Bird led that exact same Celtics team to a 61 and 21 record. That 32 game. They went from winning 29 games in a season to picking up the man, the myth, the legend, Larry Bird, and winning 61. Guys, I'm, I'm really... <sighs> in turnaround was the greatest single season turnaround in NBA history. Larry Bird's the people's champ. Is he did it with no Robert Parrish, no Kevin McHale, no Dennis Johnson, Bill Walton or anyone. It was, it was just all him? Larry Bird. But how did Larry get so confident and so arrogant? I didn't know that he didn't have Parrish on the team. I thought Parrish was like there before Larry Bird got there. Knowing this, my mind's changing a little bit on the. Man, I don't know. At every I don't level, know. He proved the doubters wrong. In college, he took a mid major, Indiana State to 33 and 0 before facing what turned out to be his greatest rival Magic Johnson in the NCAA title game. But here's how Magic recalls first meeting Larry the summer before that game. The summer before they had the WIT tournament. Okay. And they brought all the best college players together. Okay. To play against the world. Okay. And man, <clears throat> I see this guy, you know, blonde hair. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, oh, let me see if he can play. Okay. Man, I'm sitting there watching him shoot Shannon. He must have made 30 in a row all net. I so said, he was still curved and full step yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, step. yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting up there. <laughs> but that's the thing, too. Like, he's not, he didn't try, he didn't, like, practice the three-point shot. Because the three-point shot just got, like, introduced uh, so like he wasn't actually trying to be the greatest three-point shooter of all time He was just trying to be the greatest basketball player of all time if he strictly struck or st Struck Stuck to the game plan that Steph Curry has and that's shooting threes all the time This man would go would have went down in history as the best 
three-point shooter of all time, period. I'm saying it right here. He would be better than Steph Curry at shooting threes if he specifically shot threes, but he didn't. He was an all-around good player. Woo, this dude can play. Okay. Then we got in the game. Jack Gibbons was player of the year that year. Right. He tore him up, man. And Larry Bird was taking it to him. <laughs> I said, oh, man, I'm calling back home saying, oh, he for real. He for real. This right. new Larry Bird? Right. Oh, he got it. He right. Play. He's dominating Jack right. Kevin. And they said, no way. I said, oh, yeah, he's dominant. I think our first game was in Kentucky. We got about a 10, 12-point lead. Man, they put us in. Went to 25, 30, just that fast. Fast break again. Three on two. Griffin. Wow. By Larry Bird. Take us out. The lead go back down. Put us back in. That's Bird and Johnson. The show started again. When you play with Magic, there's just something about it. You want to make that extra pass. You want to get that rebound and start to break. We came down a couple times. I go behind my back, no look to him. He no look back to me. And I'm laying it up. I'm saying, oh, man. There's that last play. Magic Johnson going in. Drops off the Bird. Bird puts it back off. Inside to Johnson. Superman. This guy got game. Little did Magic oh, know yeah, he do, that son. he would meet Larry Bird again. A but lot. this time, it would be in the national title game. Here we go, six, seven months later. Right. We're playing in the NCAA championship game. He's player of the year. Sports Illustrated, all the magazines got he on the cover. Right. And I said, wow. And they're 33 and 0. 33 and 0. Man, I said, oh. And it had been ranked since. That's right. <laughs> and it wasn't ranked before. Yes, that's right. It is Indiana State against Michigan State. I'm Bryant Noble, and the fans here are going bananas. That this was shown in the doc, too. NCAA title matchup between Larry Bird and Magic Johnson is still the highest rated basketball game ever played. Unfortunately, For real? Fortunately for Larry Bird, it was one of his worst because Michigan State double teamed him all night long. And since Larry was largely a one man show, Indiana State had no answer. Yeah, they shut him down. These guys were rim running, bro. Michigan State University, national champions, 1979. Magic, not only were you a leader on offense, I thought you did a great job on Larry Bird in the zone denying him the ball. Yes, uh, Coach uh, gave us a good game plan to go against Larry Bird, and all we had to do was go out and do it. That's what we've done. And congratulations, and Super Bowl game. No, it still hurts. When you win 33 in a row and you walk into the game, you, you know, lose you one. Expect, but That's tough. I expect to win. We didn't win. Larry Bird said this was his most painful loss ever. And when he got to the NBA, he took that pain out on the entire league. Not only did he play with a Ooh. level of toughness that the NBA had never seen before, but Larry Bird's trash talking stories are that of legend. Even Larry's own teammates could face his wrath. Not many younger people know this, but Hall of Famer Pete Maravich, who holds nearly every major NCAA scoring record, including highest scoring average and that was clean. two points per game. I ain't even gonna lie. Actually teammates with Larry Bird in Larry's rookie year. However What? Larry played with Pete Maravich, dude? Never. Holy moly, you learn something new every day. Pete's NCAA accolades. Mm -hmm. Because when these two butted heads, Larry got so disrespectful. Well, my, my best story, I, I think, was probably Pete Maravich and Larry Bird. Uh, Pete Maravich is passed the ball to Larry. Pete's a man, goes down and double teams Larry. Larry puts up a, a tough shot. And timeouts called, and um, 
we come to the timeout and, and Pete Maravich looks over and Larry says, Larry, Larry, they're double teaming you, man. You can't force up those kind of shots. And Larry looks up and goes, if you were any damn good, they wouldn't be double teaming me. This is one Hall of... Oh, no, dude. I've never heard this story. But it's facts. Larry is spitting facts. He just ended that man's career. I was in shock. Ouch. Pete Maravich retired at the end of that year. <laughs> while Larry Bird made the All-Star team. Here comes the rookie out of Indiana State. He has lived up to his expectations. Larry Bird, I'm told the other night here in Washington, he put on a clinic. Danley gave it back and Kermit Washington and Bird rebounds. And now it's the East for the fast break. Behind his back. Time of the All Star game that year, Larry Bird took over on national TV by draining two corner shots back to back to take the lead. He ignited his reputation as one of the most clutch players in NBA history. The right. most clutch. That's money all day. When he got in them corners, man. After that, he pulled off the play of the game and one of the greatest passes in his career. Mm -hmm. 42 on 36. Three point try by Sigma is off. And Bird comes out on the move. Dishes to Malone. Malone comes up. Stayed with it. Sigma with a hand. That was a good pass. Good IQ. That year. Larry Bird finished fourth in MVP voting, won Rookie of the Year, and pissed off his arch nemesis Magic Johnson. Oh yeah. Which ended up being the greatest individual rivalry in sports history. We ended up in the two most famous, you know, franchises. Right. The Celtics and the Lakers. And then his personality was Boston. My personality was Hollywood. Right, right. So, right, so right. I mean, they couldn't have scripted this any better. No. He was rookie of the year. I think you got like one or two votes. That's all. That's all you I That's think all. Like, I think it was like 32, 33 no, to no, like one or two. No, even le more than that, it was 60 something to like two. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say that too. I gotta say that on TV. <laughs> and so I was pissed, man. I was mad. You like, hold on. Became the first rookie in NBA history. To be named Finals MVP. Yeah. I was only the third dude ever in NBA history to go from the college championship yeah. to the NBA Finals championship. Right. And I, so I get like two votes, <laughs> and, and they were two LA dudes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm it was like, his mom, okay, dad, and grandma. That much better than me. Right. Not sixty-three to two. Right. But okay, I took it. I took it, and I'm glad that we came in together because I had somebody to measure myself. To. Right and say, hey, okay, he's great. I can't let him get, get too, too far ahead of me. I got to work hard because I want to stay in. Yes, sir. How, how would you, how it's would a great mentality to have. Respect on Larry Bird's name. What? <laughs> oh, man. I didn't know that he said that to Pete Maravich, man. That's nuts. Guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, let me know down in the comment section. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.